I don't know if you'll see this, it's a bit dark. But um, doorway. Let's jazz that up a little. Um, I was bothered about this curve here. Whether I could actually drag this carpet around the, around the curve, but that's gone all right. So I work on this bit now. So left hand side, there's some kingspan gone in there. Uh, I made that panel, so I'll get that on. So I'm using three different cloths, that black thin cord carpet that you saw. I'm using that blue four-way stretch stuff, which is quite pricey. And this, and I bought a massive roll of this, and it's like a bit like a, a bit like a toweling, but uh, it's a nice seaside fun sort of pattern. So a bit of a mix of colours and styles. First wallboard covered. I did I did make this board in one piece and try and push it into that recess, but it just wouldn't wouldn't have it. So I've, I've split the board down the middle but covered it in one. I did cover it in this stuff because I've got a lot of this fabric and I thought that would look quite nice but it's so stretchy that these lines were wavy and it, it looked rubbish. So I'll strip that off and put that on so I'm going to screw that on now. Right this is how it was done before. We had some six mil six mil ply in there which is screwed on and then covered and in these gaps here was stuffed some polystyrene and some carpet was just wrapped around the corner onto the polystyrene so it's a bit a bit crap really although I would say it's professionally fitted out I mean all around the the um, what's it called sunroofs so it, it all looks very neat this was a bit of crap really. Anyway, so I'm using this old board as a pattern. Let's see if I have to cut a piece out there because I've put a board in. Um, and it doesn't fit the bottom there now. And I'll put a stiffener in there. So now I've cut these strips applied. And I'm replacing that, that 6mm with 4mm. I'm trying to cut down everywhere that I can. And this will, this will bend in here, I think. And I'll show you what I mean with the next picture. Here's my pattern, roughly cut. And I'm just adding on that I'm 20 mil short there, 22 mil short there. So I'll get that cut out. There's my new panel in. As you can see, it overhangs this side. If you're not seeing this before, this is a really good, good trick. Uh, drill some three mil holes at an angle through there, and glue in lots of these. And these are bamboo skewers that you put in your barbecue. And of course, bamboo is really strong. Once that glue's gone off, I can trim that edge back, and I think that'll give me a super strong joint. So I'll take it off, cover it, put it back on. All my holes drilled. Just going to glue some of these in and break them off. And I'm missed with some of them because it's very thin stuff. And I've got a bit of a, a bit of an over, overhang there, so I've got to guess where it is. It doesn't really matter in this application. Anyway, I'll leave that till tomorrow and sand it back. There's the right side sanded down. That's, that's pretty solid for thin stuff. And that's what it looks like when it's covered.
I've run out of cloth now. <laughs> so I find another job. <laughs>